All right, guys, gonna go over some of my um, effigies here, uh, mainly face effigies that I have. <clears throat> and here's a, it's a sandstone, flat top, flat bottom. Yep. And then I have this one here. You can see it's a sanding stone or something there. It's kind of got a facial profile facing to the left. And then, um, if I remember right, yeah, he's got another profile kind of there, I reckon. And um, I have another one sort of like in here. Kind of a uh, facial profile facing to the left. And um, it's just like a, a stone before this one. <clears throat> it might go upside down, you know. <clears throat> you got a, this guy, there's either a guy looking up to the left or there's a guy facing to the right with a chain um, type deal out of his nose possibly and um if you flip it over it's got this younger dude with a uh, with the um his medicine hat on possibly a bird beak right there just a guess <clears throat> this is a uh, recent find that i just found here this actually sets up <clears throat> And, uh, and uh, here's another recent find of mine. Uh, he's definitely got an eye. He's got a big gauge in his ear, it looks like. It's uh, possibly a sandstone type. Kind of got an eye here and something going on up here. It's a little too high for his ear, but it could be one of those um, things that goes in the feather type deal, uh, gorget. And um, this in here this is how I found it. It almost seems to have, I don't know, some kind of material. I don't know, it's um, animal fat or something there. But it appears to be a dude in um, face to the left war paint, possibly. Or he could be uh, facing to the left uh, with different war paint on, possibly. All right, we have a, um, a dude looking up with his mouth open saying oh shit there's a big pterodactyl gonna eat me crawl back in my cave they say that um that um these are some of the oldest uh statues or figurines or effigies that they um actually find or people looking up with their mouth open all right um here's a recent find not real for sure. Kind of looks like a dude facing to the right there. And when you flip it over, it's kind of got a profile of a dude looking to the left. And possibly it was a, um, a broken um, silk. And, um, this here appears to be a, um, a dude with an, a helmet on. I don't know if I can get the color detail out of this or not. He's really uh, worn, uh, eroded. Um, he's um, got a lot of green and, um, no, not green, but a yellow. And um, he's kind of got, um, it's like he's um, made out of pottery. Kind of like he's made out of pottery. Like Play-Doh, dude. 
right? And you guys probably seen this one before. Um, this is a dude looking to the left. <clears throat> Let me set it down. It's heavy. It's a dude looking to the left. You know, he's got his uh, uh, hooked nose there and um, brow facing down. And I believe this here is a hairline, but it does actually look like there's possibly something in there with that too. And um, I've never washed that. Because it looks like he's kind of, he's definitely red, but he's got the green algae kind of on him. And the hair is kind of purpley. Camera, the light in here ain't that good. Alright, we have, um, this, um, lemony snickets or something here. I'm not real for sure. Looks like a dude face to the left with an eye. You flip it over. It's kind of uh, the same dude looking to the right. I don't know, possibly a chicken or something. But uh, yeah, he's definitely a dude looking to the left there. It appears to me anyway, and a dude looking to the right. I just, um, this could be a bear, um, possibly a bear or a human. Um, Got the profile, and then you flip it over. It kind of looks more like a bear when you flip it over that direction. And then and it's definitely a, a tool. You can see it's flat on the bottom, concave. And, um, here's another one. This here's like a uh, a flint ball. It's like a flint ball kind of looks like a person on this side if you turn it around kind of reminds me of the bug-eyed bird that you guys you know. All right. All right, here's, um, this one here is kind of peculiar um, there's a black dot up here it kind of looks like a dude Facing left, or it could be a, um, a guy kind of facing right. But when you flip it over, this is what's really intriguing. Is um, kind of looks like a dude, kind of to the right, facing right with war paint on, or something else looking kind of to the left. And turn it over. Whatever this material is on here, it's kind of like that um, other one. I don't know if I can get a good shot of this or not. But, um, kind of looks like a dude standing right there with an arm waving down or something. I don't know if you can kind of see that or not. It's, um, very weird. I can sit there and look at it and look at it and see all kinds of stuff in it. All right. I mean, I'll just move over here to these. I got um, a Luigi or a, um, you know, I think they call him the crying man. And I've got this, um, this brute here with his um, uh, gauge or gorget type thing in his ear. And then I've got this smiley, uh, smiley dude right here. I got this guy looking to the left here. There we go. Let's see if I can get a little better focus. And, um, yeah, got that smiling dude looking to the left. And we got this guy in the black here. He's looking to the left, too. And he's kind of carved in. He's one of my rarer pieces. He's actually carved in to the rock, like a, reminds you of the Easter Island kind of thing and also if you look at him it seems like there's a face looking to the right also let's see here and, uh, yeah that's upside down there kind of that could be a dude with a um a headdress on but it seems like there's a guy facing the left there's also a guy Looking right. 
Well, I can't. I'm wasting film here. <clears throat> All right, I got one more piece. This is my um, this is my favorite piece that I found. This is one that got me started on all of it. I don't know if it's a man or a monkey or I don't know. He's definitely kind of got an ear, an eyebrow, an eye. And he got some big beak up there, nose and a, a upper lip. And uh, he sits flat. Well, not super flat, but this table's not real good. But um, seen uh, come around his ear, his eyebrow, and eye, his face. And um, it's very peculiar. And he's got his um, silhouette um, profile here, but he's uh, definitely 2D here, I guess. He's, he's pretty much seen there. And I messed around with it. I thought I seen something else there too at one time. Because what kind of got me was his, his ear is kind of backwards there. But that could be a, um, a gauge or something possibly. I don't know. And this is kind of like, uh, it's a fairly heavy, dense rock. Anyway, um, thanks guys. I'll try to get a um, video up on my um, animal effigies that I have. This is mainly um, the Indian faces.